The Museum of Science and History recently announced that Bruce Fafard, its CEO, will retire next February. Now, this transition has been planned for a long time, and this morning, Bruce is here with us to share more about what's next for MOSH, including a big update on its fundraising campaign for a new museum. So good morning, Bruce. We are so sad to hear the news, but can you tell us a little bit more about what's next? Sure. Well, good morning and thank you for the opportunity. We've got so many new things happening, but first let's talk about a recent announcement. We're so excited that the Hardin Family Foundation has donated $1 million toward our Genesis campaign, which is the campaign to build a brand new museum on the North Bank. And so that just really uh, helps to move the project forward. We've, ha we've got a lot of progress. We actually have well over 400 donations toward this project. And we're moving quickly toward that new museum on the North Bank. That is incredible. So you have done so much for MOSH. And can you share a little bit more about your journey since joining MOSH? Sure. I started at the very beginning of the pandemic in 2020 and actually as volunteering there to help the management team out and transitioned into a full-time position and then in October of 2020 as CEO. And we have been able to bring the museum back to pre-pandemic visitor levels, which is a huge accomplishment. We've also introduced several new programs um, one of them is Silver Space Series, which we reach out to retirement communities and bring them in for special programs in our planetarium. Uh, we've also brought some world-class exhibits in. So I'm very excited about what we've been able to accomplish over the past several years. And let's talk about a little bit of that impact with all that you've accomplished. What has been uh, one of the most beneficial moments that you've experienced while working with MOSH over the years? Oh, there are so many, but probably one that really highlights uh, our ability to continue our mission within the community. We worked collaboratively with Duval County Public Schools and we've brought in a VPK. We actually have one of their VPKs in our building. And it's so wonderful to see these students come in early in the year. In fact, in a couple of weeks, they'll be starting and then have them throughout uh, the museum. Our educators have special programs for them. So that, that's, that's really one of the most exciting things that we've done. That is incredible. And honestly, there are so many people sitting at home right now watching this who have never experienced MOSH. Uh, tell them why should they go out and take that chance and go see what it has to offer? Well, we've been in our building since 1969. So we have a long history in this building, but we were chartered in 1941. And so we constantly update our programs. We bring new things in. For example, one of the things that we've recently introduced, we work collaboratively with the UF Center for Autism, and on Wednesday evenings, we have a special sensory reduction program that we introduce, it's called MOSH. Oh, okay, I like <laughs> it, that. <laughs> it's great, it's great. And then once a month, we have a, a, a longer period. And so individuals that, that are, are, are sensitive to loud sounds or lights, they can bring their families in and have a dedicated time specifically geared toward them. That is incredible. And while you will be at MOSH for the rest of the year, what's your message to the community before you officially leave? So yes, I will be there through next year. Very excited about continuing the mission going forward. And probably the biggest thing is come out and support us. Uh, we need your support. We have activities going on. Our education department is constantly introducing new programs. We've got a brand new exhibit that's coming in September called Animation Academy, where you'll actually be able to create your own sort of stopgap animation. And we'll have what is called the world's largest 3D Zootroop. Now, I've never seen this in person, but I understand it is amazing. And it is the precursor to film. So you'll actually be able to see animation being generated in that. So we've got a lot of things going on. And then at the end of September, we're bringing back Museum by Moonlight. We're gonna have a wonderful evening of cocktails and appetizers, um, just a great time. In fact, we're gonna have a local DJ, Vic Ma Malucci is gonna oh, be- Oh, we know him. Yes, I thought you did. He's actually <laughs> gonna be our DJ that evening. So come to the museum, continue to support us. And if you really feel encouraged, support our brand new museum building program, Genesis on the North Bank. 
Absolutely. So many great things in store. Bruce, it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Same here. Thank you.